Okay, so what I'm going to do here is make a duplicate copy of ball two. Shift D. Okay, move it off to the side here. And this one, we're going to do a little bit of mojo to it. We're going to take in, go back into cam user camera. Get over here next to it. This one, we're going to make a displacement and normal map right here in Blender. Now, this is a pretty you know, lengthy process, but I want to show you how to make it in here before I use a third-party application, that's for sure. So, first off, go into this, the editing menu. You want to add a multi-res to it. And you want to add a couple levels to it. Okay, and then go into sculpt mode. Okay, in sculpt mode, F to make this brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to uh, write out a few things or just bump this up a little bit. Okay, rotate it a little bit around. Again, if you're having a hard time rotating around objects, don't forget to go into user preferences and turn the turntable on. It's an emulate three button mouse. It helps out so much. That way when you go back into buttons window, notice I, I'm rotating around the orientation of it now. It's a little easier. So I'm just gonna Create some deformities that would show up on the normal map. And I've noticed that if you go into sculpt and take a pinch brush, kind of gives it a really cool effect. Maybe go back into draw, turn in some subtracts in here too. Okay, there we go. That looks foobarred enough. Okay, so how do we make a normal map from that? Okay, obviously, first off, we need two different vari variations. We need the high res and the low res object. So, going back to object mode, this is what needs to occur. Shift D to duplicate it. Okay. And this one is going to be high res. So I'm going to name it high. And this one high. And this one is going to be my low res object. So low low. Notice how easy it is to select things over here now. Okay, that's going to come in handy when they're on top of each other. All right, now let's take it go a little bit st one step further and go into here and take the apply multi-res. This is my low res object, so what I need to do is back the levels off and delete higher. And this one my high res, I need to just delete lower. Okay. Now, here's what I usually do for this. I go to the top of the world. I organize things so I can get things out of the way. I take my cursor. See this little cursor right here? If I left click, it actually centers it within the world. So what that means is I can go center cursor and then center this one center cursor center good now they're on top of each other it's going to be really hard to select right well that's why I renamed them to make it a little bit easier now the hidden little tablet to actually make it bake out textures that is located under here in this little tab right here so first off the low res representative must have a texture installed Okay, so let's go to the low res, 
go into tab on the keyboard should be all highlighted and let's go into the UV image editor where we're going to make a new map new sure 1024 let's make this blue it doesn't have to be blue but let's make it blue maybe you didn't hear me there we go now uh, go ahead and save that out save as video norm okay so there's there's our texture now how do we get it baked onto that texture very simple sometimes first off go to the bake menu make sure you selected to active choose normals and then choose tangent for tangent space normals now if you wanted to do world space you wouldn't have to do the two different objects but the normal map is a little bit different you definitely want a tangent space normal map it's based upon its object space and not the world space yeah, that sounds nerdy, right? But trust me, you want tangent space. Um, let's see, auto quad split. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. Should be all good to go. Okay, first, select the high. Then hold shift, select the low, hit bake, and cross your fingers. There we go. One baked normal map. Okay, immediately go image save and hit save over now in the let's, let's do the displacement map and then I'll show you how to uh, cook all of them how's that so for the displacement map I can go displacement and I can choose normalized and normalized will uh, find the greatest greatest from the lowest so you want displacement and normalized and what I want to do here since I saved that map out I want to just bake okay, and go ahead and go image save as and call it vid disp blender has a nice little feature up here I just want to kind of show you this it has full render ambient occlusion so you can make an ambient occlusion map if you wanted to normals texture only or displacement up here also so a full render is kind of cool let's say you have an object and you have a bunch of lights around it you can hit full render and it'll bake all the text all the actual shadow information into the model ambient occlusion is good for um, a cavity map so if you got if you got an object with deep crevices and you want to put a normal map on it and it ambient occlusion map will strengthen your normal map and make it oh so much better okay so those are the kind of maps maybe we'll go into those later okay so I have those two maps made uh, in the next video I'll show you how to apply them to the actual uh, object and render it out